So in the, um, some of you came to the webinar that um, Olu did several weeks ago on video, uh, on doing video. And what I did is I, I took that video and I made it into an ever webinar. So <clears throat> I have a better link than this, but you can go to this link and you can, you can see how it works for yourself. It's not going to hurt you to register for it. And then, I mean, you're not going to get uh, extra things. So I'm going to put the link in here in the chat and you can go and register. And the way it's set up, this is set up. You can see it right here. If I wanted to, if I click register now, I can choose today. You can see it's saying it's available today at 11 a.m., which is basically on demand. So you put your name and email. Whoops, med.com. And register now. And what it's going to do, it's going to go through the registration process, but it's going to put you into this screen where you can put it on your calendar if you registered for some other day, or you can click join webinar. And so it's going to tell you it's starting in five minutes and 20 seconds. So you have the time to wait when five minutes and 20 seconds gets done. The webinar video is going to come up automatically. So I'm going to show you how I did that with Groove Webinar. So Groove Webinar. And I'll go to my webinars. And this is this is it right here. So you can see that I've had 11 people, which would be including me today, who actually registered and watched this as an ever webinar. So I'm going to go edit it and show you what happens inside of it. So it's an automated webinar. It's the only thing that's option right now. So it's automated. So I'm going to do save and next. Then we have a webinar title, description, and an image if you want to put it on there. And then we have the video. So the video is going to come from your Groove video library. And if you don't have it there already, you can upload the video. But the video is going to be a video that you have already stored in Groove video. So you can see that I have a video that I had uploaded called Olu Webinar, and it, it's going to put the duration in here. And this is how you attach your video to the webinar. So I'm going to do Save and Next. And you can select a presenter if you want to. Um, long term, this is going to be where you can, I could have Tevye on as a guest and I could make him a presenter in my webinar. It's going to send him an email. He's going to confirm that he's going to be, be a presenter. And when the webinar goes live, he's going to connect. And that's, way, that's the way he'll be able to present. Um, so it's not necessary to put anything in here right now. And as you can see, I didn't. So save and next. And now you schedule. So I'm not going to go through it, but you have a bunch of options. You could schedule it for once a day. You could schedule it for once a week. You could schedule it for once a month. In my case, I did it once a day, every day. You can see it down here recurring at 7 p.m. However, I also went to schedule settings. I allow instant replay, but also right here, enable just in time option. So that's what I enabled so that when somebody comes, they can register and it's going to be available in the next five minutes. So this is the just in time option that I added. So essentially your schedule doesn't matter at that point, but I'm going to just run over here. We have two minutes and 48 seconds to go. So that's the schedule. You can um, decide the look. Are they going to allow them to go full screen or are we going to make them watch the chat the whole time? Uh, we have, a bunch of options. I'm skipping all of that. You can create a poll that will pop up at some some point during the webinar. You can actually, you can, in this case, we did this webinar live and I saved the chat. And so I haven't done the work. You have to do a little editing of the chat to make it work, but you can upload the chat so that what would happen is when somebody came to the webinar and Olu says, put a one in the chat, you would actually see it pop up on the side just as if it were the live webinar. So I did not add that, but you can. Um, you can add 
Okay. So, so it looks like some people who actually uh, used um, – this is – I hadn't even gone back and looked. Uh, some people who had watched the Ever webinar had made, have made some comments, and I can just go over here and accept them. So they will show up on the next webinar. Um, interesting. Good to know. Uh, you can go see your attendees. Um, you can either not display or you can do dynamic attendees. So this is sort of when you're trying to make your webinar look live. So you can say, you know, the peak attendance is going to be 700. Uh, the time is going to be at some point in the webinar and that it's going to increase by a percentage and decrease by a percentage and all that good stuff. Um, I did don't display because I was just trying to create a video you could go back and watch. Sticky messages, you can create a message that's going to come on and it stays in the chat. So it might be something where somewhere in the webinar, you know, Olu said you can go to this link. Um, we can put that message in here and it's going to show up for even the ever webinar and it's going to stay there in the chat. So they will see it uh, start time, end time and message here. Uh, offers, you can create an offer that's going to show up. Oops. Okay. Shucks. Uh, let's do that. I'll apparently have to add a test comment and then I can delete it. Comments, offers, uh, files, you can get ready, simulate. I mean, there's all of these things are just things you can add to the webinar. I'm skipping them all because you don't have to do any of them to make this work. So save a next. Um, Notifications, we're going to send them reminders about the webinar. These are automatic. All right, I need to change this to my Groove SMTP. By the way, if you didn't know it, um, I have access to Groove's SMTP, which I'm using for my Groove mail right now. So I just mentioned that as a, it's coming. Uh, Groove SMTP is coming. And I know that there are users right now testing it. Uh, so we go to alerts and we see we have a welcome message. All of these can be customized. You can make it your own welcome message, pre-webinar reminders, last minute reminders, live reminders. Uh, you can add, these are automated. Groove is sending these. You don't have to remember them once you've set them up. But like I said, you can click the pencil and go in and edit them and, and make them your own, uh, your own emails. Integrations. Um, so what you can do is when somebody attends when they registered we're going to put them on a list and assign a tag so you can see i put people who register for this i'm adding to business growth webinars that's a list in my groove mail and i'm adding a tag that says they came to olu uh, marketing videos so you can also send them to a sequence now if they attend you could put a different tag onto them if they didn't attend, you can add a different tag. If they completed, they went all the way through. So you can you can tag people who came to your webinar so that you can intelligently email them after the fact based on those tags. What's going to happen after the webinar? So when the webinar ends, what I'm doing is sending people to a external link, which is where they can purchase what Olu mentioned at the end of the of the webinar. So it's going to send them directly to this external link. I could send them to a thank you page. I could send them to a survey. I'm sending them to the link where they can purchase her product. Now, the pages, registration pages, uh, can be set up in Groove Pages. So you can, you can customize. If you remember, let's go over here. This should be playing right now. Uh, the webinar. Yeah. So this is what the webinar looks like. This is... Um, See, you can see uh, somebody commented, somebody commented. Um, this is the webinar running right now. And you can see it looks like uh, go to webinar or something like that. And that's happening over there. Remember, it had a five minute delay and it started. So you can see that I use just the default. This is just the default groove uh, look and feel of the registration. Um, let's see if I can, sh I'll show you one that I created for another, for a customer where it has a custom registration page. So you can use the default or customized pages. Um, you can change 
how it looks, the primary color, the secondary color, all that good stuff. Uh, you can change. It could be a multiple step registration. I mean, there's so many options. Again, if you just want to get the thing out there, you don't have to worry about any of these options. Just run through save and next, go to the end, and you're going to get the links. And here's the link, the quick registration page. So this is what I posted. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over here, paste it in the browser. And there's the registration, the standard res. And you see it says Groove Digital up here. So um, the, I, you know, because I'm working with Groove and I'm just testing this out and I wanted to make it available, I just did the standard. But what you can do is... Right now, what you can do is create a registration page and you're able to embed just this section right here. So this would be embedded on your page. And of course you can have your own Groove page, but it, this right here will be available for them to register. And you can send them to your own page once it's confirmed. So um, again, I did the standard basic, just gonna send you right to the Groove webinar. So that is how you set up a Groove webinar right now.